welcome to my channel welcome to a full three-in-one get ready with me you guys know when I do these kinds of videos I just like to jump right into them I do not like to do an intro or anything like that because it's like why do all that when I'm gonna be having y'all here all this time to do my hair my makeup and show y'all an outfit and today's video is also gonna include a mini vlog at the end today I'm celebrating Friendsgiving with my friends we are planning an amazing super elegant grown and sexy Friendsgiving dinner Dinner, and I'm gonna be taking you guys along so I thought it would be really fun to go ahead and get ready with you as well I'm gonna be doing my hair which I'm basically gonna be applying one of my you know affordable synthetic wigs and then I'm gonna be doing my makeup and showing you all the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing and then taking you to the event to meet some of my friends my family and just to show y'all how elegant it's gonna be because it's definitely gonna be popping we got a little color scheme going on beautiful invitation we sent out to everybody to let them know like this is upscale pull it together but yes I wanted to take you guys along but I wanted to get ready with y'all first so that's why I'm looking real skint okay your girls looking pretty skint right now my ponytail is like extra slick um, I just have my hair in a braid and this is generally what I do when I'm applying my wigs I just put my hair in a little braid in the back like just keep it real real simple and I get that from um, I think her name is Makeup by Tiffany. I love her. She does like wig applications and full makeup in all her videos and they are just so bomb. But she just puts her hair in a braid and her hair is like super long and full. So I figure if her hair is like that thick and long and she can just fit it under a wig and make it look flat, then I can make my little struggle braid look flat too. So that's what we're gonna be working with today. Um, I have gotten a lot of questions about, you know, my wigs and wig application and so forth. I don't know if I can do like a full dedicated video, but I figured I would do a few more get ready with me's like over the holiday season with you guys to show you how I apply the wigs, you know, what kind of wigs I usually buy. And y'all know I'm a synthetic wig girl, okay? I do wear human hair wigs sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, but mostly I like synthetic wigs because they really are just throwing your head and go I don't have to curl them I don't have to do all those you know methods the ball cap method and this method and that method I really just slick my hair put on a wig cap and put it on my head so I have everything that I need right here the wig I'm gonna be applying is this Otre lace front wig this is called the Stevie wig there's the name of it and again this is by Otre it's from their lace front um, Swiss lace parting series and I will link this wig for you. I think I got this from Amazon, I believe. So I will definitely link it for you all and mine is in the color 1B. So yeah, Ultra Lace Front uh, Stevie style wig. And it's just basically like a body wave type of wig. Here it is right here. It's cute. She cute or whatever, but we're gonna go ahead and get her on. So like I said, my hair is in a braid. All I pretty much need to do at this point <laughs> is put the wig on my head. So I'm gonna first apply a black wig cap. I usually use black wig caps. So um, I do have some colored ones, but I just find black to be a lot easier. Oh, I look like I'm about to go rob somebody right now. Oh, hurry up, girl. <laughs> Wee, okay. It just got real menace to society right there for a second. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of push it back a little bit. This is usually about where I like it. And I did earlier kind of slick my hair back so that it would be out of the way. The next thing I want to do is go ahead and put the wig on. And you may hear some noise in this video. Um, somebody is having like a major block party right now. Like it is just popping, okay? Like I don't know if they have mariachis or what, but the music has been going for hours. And I gotta lie, it's been jamming, okay? It sounds like it's right in my living room, but I'm not mad because I'm about to get out of here anyway, so. Go on and party it up, y'all, wherever y'all at. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm adjusting my straps in the back of the wig so that um, it'll be as tight as I can make it. And this wig just has a short little lace down the middle for the part. It has a little bit of lace around the edge and it has two combs here. I don't really do any tinting. I really don't do a lot of that stuff, y'all. I, I just, I just put the wig on my head, <laughs> okay? Um, and then I do use a little bit of bond in the front to make it lay down, but because I mostly wear like parted wigs, a lot of my hair is covered on the edges. So I'm gonna slap it on, step back so it won't get too blurry on you guys. So I'm gonna just put the wig on my head, flip her back, fair faucet style. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a little something to make her lay a little bit flatter but I can tell she's definitely gonna work. Um, 
yeah this is gonna be really cute when I'm done with it I am gonna cut this some um, I can tell it's a little bit longer than I care for and um, so yeah I will probably give her a little trim little trimmy trim trim but there she is on the next thing that I like to do is just to spray a little bit of the bond right here on the front not too much just a little so I'm gonna take that and the bond that I'm using is the Ebon New York Wonder Lace Bond and this is the extra mega hold in the yellow bottle. So I'll link that for you guys as well as the wig and everything in the description. But I'm just gonna spray a little bit right there and it's okay if it gets on the part. I don't really be tripping about that. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put the wig where I kinda want it to lay, which is about right there. And that's pretty much all I do as far as glue goes. Like you can see a little bit of my edges there. That's fine because that's going to be covered with the hair. I'm not really tripping about that. And I am going to put concealer in the part. So I'm not really worried about that too much either. And I'm going to do ahead, go ahead and do the concealer right now so that that can settle in. So, And I'm just using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the color Deep Cinnamon. Okay, you guys, so I got my concealer on the part and it's definitely looking a little bit crazy right now, but don't worry, I'm gonna tie down the front of my hair for a while to really let everything just kinda lay down and let the adhesive take hold. So it's gonna um, suck up a little bit of that concealer and make it look a little bit more natural. So I'm just gonna take my spray, put a little bit more right on the part. Just gonna kinda brush that down out of the way. I should have brought my brush in here, but that's okay, because we're gonna be fine. Yeah, I just keep it super, super simple when it comes to wig application, like I really, really do. And I just have like a little satin scarf here. I'm gonna take that, tie the front of my hair down really good, and while I do the makeup, this is gonna just lay down nice and flat. And if it's not flat enough when I take off this scarf, then I will go in with like a curling iron and just kind of flatten it around the part a little bit more. But this usually works fine for me. And like I said, I'm not a perfectionist with these wigs, so girl, <laughs> if you look up a perfection on anything, this is not the channel. <laughs> this is not the channel, girlfriend. But there, we are tied down so that adhesive is gonna take hold. Things are gonna look a lot more natural when I remove this scarf after I'm done doing my makeup, which the makeup usually takes me about 45 minutes to an hour when I'm filming. So that'll be plenty of time for everything to lay down nice and flat. So there, your girl is ready. I am not looking like I'm about to rob anybody anymore. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go get my brush and I'm gonna actually, um, Give it a little brush and then we'll get into the makeup. Alrighty, so now that our wig is on, we are ready to get into this face, honey. And I'm gonna be moisturizing first. I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I have this little travel size thing that I got here from Sephora. It was like a gift for hitting a certain number of points. So I'm gonna go in with that because I do want my skin to be pretty well moisturized. It's been a little bit problem problematic lately. So I really wanna moisturize my skin well, especially these dry, a under eyes so I'm gonna go in with a little bit extra under there okay now that that's all rubbed in I'm gonna go in with some primer and I'm gonna be using the milk hydro grip primer I haven't used this in quite a while I kind of stopped using it because I felt like it was making me a little greasy but um, my skin is so dry that I think it'll be fine right now to use so I'm gonna go in with that all over the face really concentrating it in my t-zone smooth out those pores and i did use my little ice roller earlier you guys i don't know if i shared this i think i shared this in a past video but i did use my little ice roller to kind of depuff under my eyes i've been getting bags as well under my eyes and um i don't know why but i did go in with that earlier to kind of help you know depuff de the face a little bit because I did go out last night to see Wakanda Forever. Have y'all seen the movie? Oh my goodness. If you've seen it, it was good, right? It was good, it was it was good. I thought the plot was really amazing. Um, 
but make sure you stay past the credits. If you don't stay past the credits, you are going to miss a major part of the movie. So I don't want to give it away. Make sure you stay past the credits if you go and see Wakanda forever because uh, yeah, there's a major part that you want to see. <laughs> but now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my brows. Right now I just want to walk you all through the steps so that I can kind of speed through. So I've done my brows on camera with you guys before a million times. So I'll just kind of walk you through the steps and then I'll just let you watch me do the application. I first go in with this Come At Me Brow Wax. This is by Misguided. I buy this on their website. It's just like a simple clearish brow wax so I go in with that first then I like to go in with this wet and wild black um, eyeshadow in the color panther this is what I use to create the hair strokes in my brows it is an amazing product super affordable it's like a dollar 49 I got like 10 of them on stock like because that's what I use all the time to clean up my brows I'm gonna be using this Kevin O'Quan skin enhancing Concealer, is that what it's called? Yeah, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in the color SX14. I think this product is still available. It's like a super, super pigmented concealer. So I'm gonna clean up the brows with that. Then I'm gonna set them using this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. This is what I use to set my um, lids after I do my eyebrows because I don't like them to be, you know, too greasy or anything like that. So this is ma this mattifying, mattifying powder is what I use to set my lids after that. Then I'll be going in with two palettes I'm going for a really smoky chocolate lid so I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place cho the chocolates palette which this is what it looks like I'll go in with that and I'm also gonna be going in with this Luna Magic Desmunda palette from Target so I'll go in with that to use this chocolate brown color right here so I'm going for like a really chocolatey sensual smoky eye that's the vibe because my dress is faux leather I have two options that I'll be showing you guys I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with but um, yeah let's go ahead and get into the face and one more step that I want to share with you before I even start on my eyes is I want to kind of conceal the darkness underneath my eyes um, they're starting to get a little bit better this occurred when I got under eye filler I never had dark circles until I got under eye filler then it just went kind of dark in the area where the filler was placed so now I'm scared to death to get it again but I am gonna go ahead and use this um, color corrector this is the Maybelline master camo crayon corrector so I'm gonna go in with that and it's in this reddish color to offset the gray under my eyes so I'll let you guys watch I'm gonna speed through all of this process so that you can just watch and enjoy the music So the eyes are pretty much all done. I do have on lashes. I had the lady do them like extra, extra natural this time and I'm kind of regretting it because I feel like you can barely see them. But I'm just gonna go in with a clean spoolie to kind of brush them up and fluff them out a little bit. They are kind of on the struggle train. I'm so rough on them like when I wash my face because I just like my face to be really, really clean, y'all. And when you have lashes, like them suckers will come out when you're like scrubbing your face, so. I gotta learn to be a little bit more gentle when I have lashes, you know, with how I wash my face. But I do like how she did them. I just wish I would've got them a little bit fuller and then I gotta work on taking better care of them basically. But I'm just gonna give them a little zhuzh, zhuzh my eyebrows a little bit while I'm there. And so, eyes are ready. Got a nice little chocolate brown smoky eye going on here, but it's not going to show as well against that red under my eyes. I'm going to have to kind of rub that in. And then once I apply my concealer, I think my eyes will pop a little bit more. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the face. Once again, I'm going to show you all the steps, talk you through it, and then I'm going to let you watch while I speed everything up. So let me get those products and uh, we're going to get this face ready because I'm ready to get cute now. I'm ready. <laughs> 
I have all my products lined up in front of me and like I said I'm gonna just walk you guys through the steps and then I'll speed it up for the application I am going for a super matte full coverage look today I don't want to be too dewy because the drinks are gonna be free-flowing and I know by the end of the night I'm gonna have all my oils coming out y'all know how it is when you sip a little red wine or sip on a little yak and then next thing you know you look like a piece of fried chicken like you're glowing like <laughs> It's, it's crazy, especially at my age when you hit the 40s, girl. That look ain't you up so quick. Anyway, <laughs> let me walk you out through the steps. So, like I said, going for a full coverage look. So, I want to use a full coverage foundation. I'm going to be going in with the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. My color is Dracar, Dakar, Dakar. So, that's the color I'll be using for my concealers. I'll be going in with two the Kosas concealer in the color 09. And I'll be going in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo concealer in the color Deep Olive. So, those are the two concealers I'm going to be mixing. I always mix concealers. Like one is just never ever enough for me for some reason. To set my under eyes, I'm gonna be going in with the Kosas Cloud Set in the color Softly. And this is like a brownish, yellowish type of lighter setting powder. And then to kind of brighten things up, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Foundation, powder foundation in the color 390. This is like a staple in my makeup routine at this point. To contour my nose, I'm gonna be using contour and highlight sticks. These are by Black Radiance. I have one in this chocolatey color here that I'll use to contour my nose. And then I have one in this like tannish sort of color that I will use to kind of brighten things up in the middle of my nose. So you guys will see me do that. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the One Size Beauty Powder Foundation in the color Deep R3. And to contour, I'm also gonna be using One Size Beauty. I have this really cool contour palette from them so I'll be using that to contour my cheeks a little bit and like set you know that area with some contour just kind of shape me out a little bit to bronze I will be using the Fenty bronzer in the color Mocha Mommy another staple in my routine and then for blush I will be using the one size beauty blush trio this is what that looks like and this is in the color cheek clapper so that's what I'll be using for um, mascara for my lower lashes. I'm going to be using this Item Beauty Lash Smack Lash Snack Lengthening Mascara. These companies come up with such long names and they don't even put them big so you can see them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what I'll be using. Setting spray. Definitely want a solid set on today's makeup. So I'll be going in with the Ben Nye Final Seal. This is like a bridal makeup setting spray. So hopefully this will set my makeup in place the whole night. But anyway, now that I've walked you through, I'm gonna go ahead and crank up the music and let you guys just watch me do this application. So you all just saw the full application of that makeup and let me see if I can turn 
my lights down a little to see if it'll let you guys see the makeup a little bit better but if you did notice um, I'm not able to do like the one dot here one dot line outside of the eyes for concealer because I have deep set eyes and because I have dark circles and because I have sort of a line that goes here I have to put my concealer further down so that method doesn't really work for everybody so just know if you have deep set eyes that are like lower deep set not just a short deep set then you may have to bring your concealer down a little bit to give your face more shape and then also um, you guys might have noticed that I, I put that um, bronzer on top of my contour just to kind of make it look a little bit more warm because the contour can look a little bit harsh sometimes and I've been guilty in the past of kind of being a little harsh with the contour so you know I use the bronzer to kind of diffuse it a little bit because you know sometimes I'll be looking like Robocop up in here but um, anyway you guys saw the application you saw how I did that nose contour using the two sticks and that's been working out for me a lot better so now I'm ready to set my face but before I do that I do want to go ahead and apply a little bit of highlighter on my nose I kind of want to keep the rest of my face matte I feel like it just looks good like this so I don't want to do too much to it let me just diffuse out this blush a little bit it's looking a little bit harsh but I don't want to do too much to it as far as like highlighter I just want a little bit on my nose to give me that little button nose but um yeah I'm gonna grab my highlighter and then we will set the face do the lips all that and then we'll get into my outfit so the highlighter that I'm going to be using is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter I think this highlighter is gonna literally last me a lifetime <laughs> because it just seems like it doesn't go down and I use it all the time but anyway like I said I do want to give my nose a little bit of a highlight and I'm trying to go in light let me just dot it on this paper towel because I can never go light with the highlighter every time I try to go light with highlighter it just doesn't work out but I'm gonna try no fail <laughs> it's a fail no it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad it's gonna give me a nice little glow <laughs> And I definitely want to go on the tip of that nose. I love that little sparkly look on the tip of your nose. I'm just going to rub that in a little bit. Kind of make them connect a little bit. That looks good. I'm going to also go in the inner corners a little bit. Just to give them a little bit of twinkle. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to sweep underneath my eyebrows just to kind of highlight that area a little bit. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna leave the face matte. I'm just feeling a matte look today. So now I'm gonna set, and then I'm going to do my lips. I like to set before I do my lips. I, it feel weird like setting my lips. So I'm gonna set, then do my lips. Then I'm gonna do this Wayne Goss trick. Well, actually I'm gonna set with the setting spray. Then I'm gonna do the Wayne Goss trick, which is, which is to go in with a mattifying powder on top of your setting spray. I saw this on his channel like a while back. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray on this Ben Nye Final Seal. And you don't need, whew, you don't need too much of that. It has like a strong peppermint scent. It's like not a bad scent, it smells like toothpaste. It's not a bad scent, but it's just like a weird scent for a setting spray. But I'm gonna now go in with the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I love this powder. Oh, it looks like it's broke a little bit. Uh, it's still usable. <laughs> it's got a little crack in it, y'all, but I'm still gonna work with it. I love this powder, and this is another thing that I have, like, in stock in my, you know, stash of makeup because I really like this powder. I've been using this powder for years. If you look at some of my old, old Get Ready With Me's and makeup videos, I've been using this powder for a long time. And I basically went over my entire face with that e.l.f. HD finish powder and I also set my brows because sometimes they can get a little bit shiny but I think it looks so much nicer and just really really matte so now I want to go ahead and do the lips and I will be right back to do that okay so for the lips I'm just going around kind of lining my lips with this chocolate brown lipstick this is what it looks like I don't know where I got this from um, let me see if the name is on the bottom here um, it's the color is mocha 
but I can't tell what brand it is. I think I might have gotten it from Misguided, but I'm not sure. But any chocolate brown lipstick or liquid lipstick will do to give you this effect. And it just kind of lines out my lips because my lips don't have a lot of shape. For some reason, they're big, but they don't have like a nice puckery shape. So I gotta kind of line them. I always line my lips. And for my lipstick, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, Lip Liquid Lipstick. I guess the color is Pillow Talk. But I'm gonna go in with that. So sort of like a pinky nudie color. I love this formula, the way it feels. It's super moisturizing, but it also has a nice pigment to it. And it goes so well with that chocolate brown. So just gonna go right in the center of the lips all over with that. And then to finish it, I like to go in with this glittery lip gloss that I got from the beauty supply. It's sort of like a silvery glitter. You can't really see it on camera, but I really like to go on top with that. It just looks so pretty. So I'm gonna take these and put them in my purse so that I can, you know, re-up for the night if I need to. But yeah, that is the makeup. Kind of hard to see it when my hair is tied down, you know, but I'm getting ready to take this sucker off so we all can see what's looking like under there, see if I need to kind of flat iron or do anything to make the wig look a little bit better. So we'll do that together and then I'll show you guys my dress options. You can maybe let me know what you think. I'll already have chosen by the time you see this video, but we got options today. Alrighty, so I went ahead and removed the scarf off camera because I was kind of scared to do it on camera, y'all. <laughs> I was like, it may go left, it may, might have slid back, I don't know. But I took it off and I really do like the way the wig is looking, but I feel like I can make it a little bit flatter. And I'm also gonna cut it some. I decided I wanna cut it some, so I'm kind of splitting it right now to get it ready to cut it. A little bit closer to shoulder length because I just think that fits me a little bit better. You know, everything, you know, you want your hair to kind of go with your personality. And for me, I, I like long hair and I think I look good with long hair, but sometimes I just like it a little bit shorter. But before I cut it, I do want to kind of disguise the lace here in the front on the sides. And a lot of people like to use foundation or something like that, but I just like to go in with black. So I'm gonna use this Panther powder, um, eyeshadow powder, Wet n Wild. And I'm just gonna use it to kind of cover that lace in the front there. Oops, a little bit on my skin. And it's just gonna kind of conceal that and make it the same color as the hair, basically. I, I prefer to do that rather than trying to like match match my skin because you can't really see it anyway unless like the wind blows or I move the wig hair back a little bit but I just think the black coverage looks a little bit better you can do that with mascara you can do that with eyeshadow a black or dark brown eyeshadow and so it just does a good job of kind of concealing the lace that's around the part and it also makes the part look a little bit more realistic. And if I made any mistakes with my concealer, I also go in and correct those with that powder. So sometimes you can accidentally make your part look a little bit too wide. <laughs> this is the time you wanna like take that powder and kind of fix it, make it look a little bit more natural. So there we go. That looks good. So now that I've done that, I do want to flatten the part a little bit. And so I plugged in my little iron here. This is like a crimper. And I'm not gonna open it, I'm just gonna use the back side and just kinda lay it on the hair. You wanna set it so that it's not too hot because this is a synthetic wig, girl, and you ain't trying to <laughs> have a wig stick to this thing, then it's a wrap, you gotta take it off. But um, I just have it on like a warm setting to flatten the wig. Okay, so here is outfit option number one. And the Friendsgiving does have a theme as far as the dress code. So it's called boards and browns, or is it browns and boards? <laughs> so we want everybody to wear something in the brown family. So that can be brown, tan, taupe, beige. It can be pretty much anything in that color family. We wanna kinda of have like a color scheme going on. And so your girl is a hoe, so of course I wanna bring, you know, the browns and boards. So I have on this really cute faux leather dress. This is like a pencil style dress. This is from Zara, super cute. It has a little split here on the left side. I threw it on with my INC heels, which are like the same color as this dress. 
And I think it looks so nice. This is definitely an option, honey. Definitely bringing that chocolate brown. As far as outerwear, I'm gonna do my beige trench coat. This is like a faux leather trench coat from Nasty Gal, because it's been pretty cool out. And I, we are gonna be kind of in a beach city. We are in a beach city, so it might be kind of chilly over there. So I definitely wanna have a nice coat with me. But this is definitely going to be the coat I'm gonna wear no matter what outfit I wear. So I think it looks so nice over this dress. Um, this is the bag I'll be wearing. Little Shein moment, matches my trench, matches the dress, looks real cute. So this is option number one. I bought this dress specifically for the event thinking this would be the perfect dress, but I'm kind of leaning towards wearing the faux leather dress that you all saw in that video recently that you all seem to love from TJ Maxx. I'm kind of leaning towards wearing that one. So I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear this dress. Let me put that one on and see how I feel and then I'll know from there. So of course here is the next option. This is the dress, like I said, from that video that you all saw that a lot of you really liked. And I'm sorry if some of y'all dresses didn't come with the belt. Mine came with the belt. Like I wouldn't have even wanted this dress without this belt. Like I don't know if they trying to sell the belt separately or I don't know what kind of tomfoolery TJ Maxx had going on with this dress. But when I bought mine and when it arrived, it had the belt with it. So sorry if you guys just didn't, or if that happened to some people. I think somebody mentioned that theirs didn't come with the belt. And I'm like, what the heck? Hopefully you didn't throw it away, miss. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but I'm thinking I might go with this dress, y'all. I have on my INC heels with it. Um, I think they look so nice with this dress. In that video, I wore a different pair of heels, but I think these look so good. I'm just kind of feeling these today. They they are the same color as my legs, so this kind of feels very monochrome and modern. So I'm thinking I might go with this dress for the event. Of course, like I said, my trench coat is the same, this cream colored one, and this is from Nasty Gal, and they do have this available. I will link it in the description. It's like a faux leather trench. It's nice and warm. And it's just really cute. I love this trench coat. But yeah, y'all, here's the look. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this dress, y'all. I think this is the look right here. I think this is the one. I love the pleats and I love the length of this dress. And it's comfortable. Like, I feel like I can get nice and full and still feel comfortable in this. So yeah, this is the one. This is the one, this is it. <laughs> so now that we are ready to roll out, I gotta get my mac and cheese into the car and then we can head out to the event. Of course, like I said, I am taking you all along with me so you can see this gorgeous setup, the beautiful event and the beautiful people there and maybe give you guys some ideas if you're thinking about hosting Friendsgiving or just Thanksgiving dinner. Hopefully I can give you all some ideas. So let's roll out. Hey y'all, so we just arrived at the venue. Um, we're in the process of setting up right now and um, few guests have arrived but it's great because she's making her board over there one of our guests is making her board so um yeah we got time it's not it's only two people here so far so we got a few minutes before the crowd starts to arrive but my cousin is setting up um yeah it's gonna be so nice y'all i can't wait to show you
Well, we were going to wait, but we're not going to wait any longer. Um, we feel like there's enough people here, and I'm sure you guys are hungry and ready to enjoy yourselves and relax. So I want to thank you guys for coming to our Friendsgiving. Um, this is a mixture of all our friends, so it's not just one group of friends or another group of friends. It's also family in here, and I consider most of you guys family in here. You don't have to bow your head. Pray with me. Dear Lord, we thank you for this chance and this opportunity to gather. All right, y'all can eat. Everything is ready and warm in there. So whenever you're ready. And then the board over here. Wine at the alcohol station, a tequila tasting station. So I am wrapping up the night. Me and my cousins are just finishing up the cleanup. My friends just left. We all cleaned up. It was a collective effort. But my cousin, who's the caterer, she's right there. She's finishing up the, um, you know, clear out. She's the caterer, so you know, she's finishing up the rest of her services. But I'm ready to go. We had so much fun. We even did the Beyonce dance challenge, y'all. We did the challenge, okay? I'm going to insert a clip right now of the challenge we did, me and a few of my friends. <laughs> Do the dance. Do you see, John? Do you see? <laughs> it did. It did. We do it. It did. We're wrapping it up, y'all. Had a blast. Friendsgiving was a total success. Especially thanks to my cousin out here. We had a good time. Anyway, we rolling out. Yes, we did. Last of us. Yes, we did. Everything's clear. Please. This is my evidence, video evidence. Little cousin. She hooked up all the food, y'all. She hooked up all the food.